So what's up guys, Skyhawk here bringing you my first uh, tutorial video on Clash of Clans and this video is going to be about the Gob Run. So the Gob Run is actually one of the most famous ones or popular ones for resource farming. Um, and when we talk about resource farming, we're not talking about barch runs for trophies or worrying about your trophies. When we talk about resource farming, we are talking 100% about giving two craps about trophies and going straight for the resources okay um, it doesn't mean you can't try and limit the you know the reduction of your trophy costs or loss in every run it just means our main focus is going to be on collecting resources before anything else so we kind of want to uh, focus on that before worrying about you know what rank we are and so on I will say this firsthand that uh, trophy ranks uh, for resource farmers, they should try and stay within gold 3 and all of silver and try and stay out of bronze. Um, namely because once you get down to bronze, you're really only fighting people that are close to your town hall or to your trophy level. And the lower the town hall, the less resources you get. So you get a lot of uh, low level starter players who aren't really able to keep up. Uh, or have a lot of resources for you to be able to pick off so when you get into bronze it's kinda garbage but a lot of your other higher level farmers who also you know just don't care about their trophies they'll try and stay within the silver and the gold 3 range uh, gold 2 and gold 1 is when people start worrying more about um, about keeping their trophies and, and getting up out of gold uh, and going higher and so they have a lot more you have a lot more bases that are not uh, resource farming bases and a lot more bases that are heavily defended which is really bad for gob attacks so you kinda wanna stay within the lower range and yeah you're gonna have to look around to find a good base but for the main part you wanna just kinda focus on just running your gobs and then looking for the bases that are open for attack um, so I'm gonna go ahead and dive on in here for a goblin attack uh, before I do actually I'm going to go over a little bit about the gobs. So a lot of people are against gobs. They're like, I don't see the point and what have you. And goblins are garbage. They die too fast. They're not that good. They are the only class that goes straight for the resource collectors, okay, and storage. So you can't tell me that they're not good. They make sure that you walk away with buku, all right. So we look at like my level five goblins, which isn't max. Max level at the moment is six, but level five goblins do 32 damage per second. And if you actually look at the uh, the damage against their favorite target, which is resources, the damage is doubled. So they're actually doing 64 damage a second to resource collectors. They move at 32 speed, and they have a training of 30 seconds and a housing space of 1. Okay, So they cost next to nothing. They take up next to no space, so you can stack a whole bunch of them. Me at my base camps right now, I'm sitting on 180 of them, and... With that uh, 180, you can see that there are plenty of gobs to be able to take just about any uh, resource farming base that, that you can come across. And my goal when I try and go and run with gobs is uh, to aim for bases that have at least 100 plus thousand of any resource. Um, creating the gobs doesn't cost all that much, so replenishing them is rather quick and easy. And when you're doing this farming technique, it, it's, it's pretty easy to do that. So uh, we're going to go ahead and, and look at, actually, before I dive in, we're going to look at an old attack of mine um, from earlier today, actually. I shouldn't say too old. Um, and that attack, you can see where I utilize goblins all the way, plus my hero and plus my, uh, my clan castle. So when I first started this attack, I ended up going for uh, for gobs taking out the dark elixir collector outside. I'm gonna speed it up a little bit and explain it in speed. <sighs> Once I started to drop uh, my hero, I used the hero to distract the defenses, the major defenses, while I used the gobs to break down the wall. As I went in, I also dropped the clan castle, which started taking out the major defenses that were really going to mess with the gobs, like the mortars. And the king actually took down the other mortar on the top hand side. I'm going to slow it down real quick, and we can see that the goblins went through and they just wrecked everything. 
they started taking out every collector and they started grabbing all the storages. The ones on the middle, it actually split into three groups. There are two groups that went down to the sides and one group that went into the middle. The one group that went in the middle is the one that ended up finishing off all of the resource collectors as well as breaking down the purple crystal walls. So it was kind of nice how that worked out, how they all three split into three different groups. And if I didn't drop the uh, the balloon and the king, then I wouldn't have been able to uh, grab the the mortars the way that I did, which helped the gobs survive tremendously. Mortars are your biggest anti-enemy, so if you can take mortars out, take them out. Plain and simple. Okay, so as you can see from that attack, I made about 150,000 gold, 391,000 uh, elixir, almost 400,000, and 230 dark elixir. Because the king and the balloons took out so much, and I got that 53%, I think, um, hitting that 50% mark, I managed to get one star, which allowed me to keep seven trophies on that attack. So, that one worked out pretty nicely. So, now I'm going to take my gobs, which I have full camps of, and when you have your full camps, make sure you go into your barracks, and start training up a whole nother group of gobs. You want them to train up while you're attacking so that when you actually come back there's a good chance that you'll be full again if you don't use all your gobs in one base. So I'm going to load it up to max on all of them. So as soon as I start sending out gobs these barracks will start creating gobs so always keep them loading out. Okay. And if you, what, what makes it really good is if you set yourself aside like two hours to farm if you boost all the barracks 40 crystals for two hours you will actually produce gobs so fast that um, originally they're 30 second and the time is increased twice or three times um, and so the gobs actually take 10 seconds to make a piece so every 10 seconds you're making four goblins by the time you finish your attacks you're actually uh, you're actually ready within like a minute to go ahead and run another attack um, so it's always good to have your goblins ready to be cooked and ready to come out. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and attack. And it might take a minute to find a really good target to attack. One of my favorite reasons for resource farming is because I try and look for gold. Because I'm trying now to actually, in this stage of the game, upgrade my walls to, uh, to pink crystal. So I am trying to find good gold ones and I could take this guy he's he's got a hundred and thirty nine thousand elixir but they're all in the inside storage units and not really out in the collectors so I'm gonna go ahead and skip him don't wanna waste my time with him but yeah aiming for more gold right now even if I sacrifice a little bit of elixir to my uh, my goblin creation the fact that I am making more gold to be able to produce my walls is what I'm ultimately aiming for. As long as I, you know, walk away with enough elixir to create another batch, then I'm happy. So right now and sorry, I completely blanked earlier about my math. 180 goblins uh is going to be uh it's gonna be 18,000 elixir, not 180,000, so don't mind me, I'm just a little blanked right there. So right now I'm using my goblins to just take out the outside resources that aren't protected by walls. And once all those gobs are down, and all the and all the collectors are down, then I'm going to go ahead and move in for the inside collectors, and all ultimately the inside uh, storage blocks too. My king is going to be crucial for this attack, so I need him in a place where he can do, he can be the most benefit, and I think I want him to take out. I think I want them to take out the guys up in here. Or at least distract them long enough for me to drop some gobs in. And just break through that gold wall, get inside and grab the storage and the collectors. Let's just drop a couple more gobs up there. Just to give them the full support to make sure that they get it. Then I'll start dropping gobs down in here. Who once they get through that wall, we'll go after the gold storage collector. 
and then I will drop them down on this pink crystal wall so that they can go after the other gold storage collector or other gold collector so ultimately this guy doesn't have a lot of really strong um, protection for his collectors he relies heavily on his mortars which in this case um, they do help him out a lot but I stagger my goblins so that not every mortar shell actually does damage and staggering your goblins is a fantastic way to make sure that uh, to make sure that you kind of miss mortar shells so if you drop all your goblins at once you're gonna really have a horrible day because your goblins are just gonna go straight for the attack and and the mortar shells are gonna just destroy them it's just completely gone in one shot so if it takes me 18,000 elixir to make my goblin attack and I walk away with 46,000 I'm coming out ahead okay I am way ahead and I'm making enough that I can create another attack and also I'm making some money so in this one I made 46,494 elixir and I made 142,000 gold, which is good because gold is what I was after. The downside is, is I lost 25 trophies because I didn't 50% or, um, or even hit the town, the uh, town hall. But for the fact that I'm not after the town hall or the 50%, I think I'm going to go ahead and chalk that up to a win because I walked away with gold like I wanted. Now, for the sake of this, I'm going to do one more attack. And to speed up the creation of that attack, I'm going to go ahead and and create a full goblin army using gems, or a full goblin attack using gems. And remember, I'm going to load up for the next attack following that up. Um, just so happens that I have enough gems that I can do this so I'm gonna go ahead and load those up with goblins to create and once they're all loaded so that the next attack is ready I'll take us back in I don't have my hero right now I could pick him back up but really I'm not feeling like doing that right now I think I can do a good win with just uh, just gob attacks so I'm gonna go in and oh my god that would be a beautiful base if all the gold wasn't sitting inside of the storages. <laughs> you can find 300,000 bases like this. They may take a little while to find them, but you can find them where they have all their stuff in the collectors outside or even their their storages further outside. But this is actually a farming base that's built to, to protect its resources. So I'm going to skip that because my goblins would not be making it in there to get all that. And you have to realize that that you you know goblins as great as they are, there are some bases that you're just not going to take. And yeah, those bases you could try with you know any other attack. Go wee wee, go wipe, dragoon, drag. Uh, what's the other one? Draglunian, um, lava lunian. You know all those other attacks would work, and they might get you a good bit of resources, but they're not aimed at resources. Those attacks are aimed at trophies. So you got to decide what you're actually after. Is it going to be? resources or is it going to be trophies for me it's all about the resources and this is a perfect example of what I was looking for 129,000 gold and 107,000 elixir my walk away from this will be very nice because most of the uh, most of the resources are out in the collectors so just a handful of gobs will be able to take care of all those out there and then we can worry about the inside collectors later. But I want to get all the outside collectors first. Remember, you have to take out the outside collectors or else you'll create gobs that are going to run all the way around a base. And you don't want that. That's just really poor judgment call on, on anybody's part. So I'm going to load enough gobs on here since I'm far enough away from the mortars to break that pink crystal wall and just rush inside. Remember, like I say, stagger those goblins see those mortar attacks they missed the second time because the goblins staggered themselves after they exploded out from the first shell attack so you only drop a handful of them at a time and you just stagger them you know let those first goblins be the ones that take the most damage don't don't make the other goblins have to do that he's got uh, 
I'm going to lose trophies, of course, but he's got 234 gold left and 764 elixir. I'm just going to go ahead and call that and chop that up to a victory. And still have 85 goblins to run with. So I got 128,000 uh, gold and 107,000 elixir. I lost trophies, but I only used 95 goblins, so I even saved on my overhead of creating goblins. And I'm walking away with the victory in my eyes. So I'm going to go ahead and call that one a win. And that's it, man. That's Clash of, Clash of Clans Goblin Runs, level 5 goblins. Just remember, don't worry about the trophies. You're only out for the resources. You'll get the trophies later on when you got all your stuff upgraded to the level that you want it to. But um, one other thing to say about the, uh, <clears throat> about the farming tactics. When you're a high-level town hall... Every town hall that's below your level that you attack is going to give you less, yield less resources. So that's why when you're going and staying within that silver and gold 3 range, you're going to find more town halls that are your equivalent level that are also doing the same thing as you. So it makes it a lot easier to make your resources that way. Because if not, you're just going to make garbage on everything else. But... You come out ahead like like I did just there, and you're actually winning in my eyes. So keep up the attacks. Level up your stuff quickly. Get those gobs up as fast as you can. In my opinion, if you want the gold and the elixir to be able to upgrade your base and even make a difference in your next clan war, start getting on those goblins. And as always, clash on. Stay hard. If I can just, just destroy. Okay? Enjoy your game. Skyhawks out. Uh -huh.